Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy, These Old Shades and Souls, and today we're gonna be doing the real review on the Nike Zoom Freak Ones. Now, what you say is a real review. Real review is when we talk about the shoe and how it performs coming from somebody who is a real consumer who paid for his own product. No sponsors, so you can be rest assured what I'm about to say about the shoe is my own honest experience with it and how I truly feel about it. Before we get into that, let's hit that intro. Real quick, if it's your first time here, thank you guys for coming to watch my video. If you are a repeat viewer, thank you guys for coming again. And if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help the channel grow. And of course, if you want to be notified for when I put up new videos, make sure to hit that bell button as well. First and foremost, I know I'm late with the performance review out of this. I know a lot of people has already come up with their performance review. And although my real review has been late, ironically enough, it's actually a first of its kind. And here's why. This is a Nike ID or currently known as Nike by you. And I did change the entire outsole of this shoe. So instead of having translucent in some of the areas, I had it changed to full solid rubber. And what's the significance of this is that the rose colorway or roses colorway is coming out soon. Should you buy the colorway with the translucent, you buy the colorways that has solid rubber outsoles. The entire inner portion of the upper and the shoe is actually heavily padded, but after a lot of games with it, you actually feel like the foam is slowly conforming to your foot. Even with that said, the shoe still holds its support and lockdown. So after breaking in, you still have the support, you still have the lockdown, and you still have the comfortability of the upper materials. Now let's jump off to the midsole or the cushioning of the shoe. The Zoom Freak 1 has injected Phylon as a rubber midsole and on the heel you have a double stack rectangular Zoom Air unit. Why they didn't put Zoom in the forefoot I don't really know but I'm here to tell you it's not all bad because if you did like the Kobe AD Exodus this is the same rubber on the forefoot. If you like the Kobe AD Exodus, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't love or like this shoe right here. So besides having a good enough cushion, support and stability wise did not, and I repeat, did not suffer just because this shoe is missing a shank plate. Shoe still held its balance and stability. And to be honest, that's actually one of the best portions of this shoe is the midsole and the support and stability of it. And lastly, why you guys came down to check out this review is attraction. So did the solid outsole rubber really help or did it really make a difference? And I will tell you right now, yes it did. Significantly. I played with the All Bros colorway on three separate occasions, three separate days and it just was not working for me. I'm telling you whatever they put on that translucent rubber, for some reason it was just eating up dust and sticking to that rubber. It was heavily contributing to the inconsistency of the traction pattern compared to the solid rubber traction. The exact opposite of the translucent rubber, this was very consistent. And I mean consistently gripping the floor. Obviously, if it's too dirty or too dusty, you would think that you are just gonna be slipping or just gonna keep wiping the shoe. But in all honesty, I did not remember doing that. I may have wiped it prior to starting a game, but within the game, I do not recall wiping it over and over again like I did with the translucent rubber and still slipping. Now, just because we have a solid rubber right here, I still do not recommend this outdoors just because on the rose traction pattern I feel like if you do play on outdoors that will easily get chipped off that's just my opinion on it I'm not 100% sure 
but the way it feels like it, it's probably gonna distort the form of that rubber. So should you wait on more colorways that has solid rubber outsoles? And I will tell you right now, yes, you should. After having experienced a translucent compared to a solid traction pattern, tell you I really had fun playing in these because I like playing in the Kobe Exodus, but this one was just more fun. And that concludes my real review on the Nike Zoom Freak 1. If you guys wanna keep up with me daily, follow me on my Instagram right here. That's it guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions. It's your boy Dizo signing off. Peace.